A group of beef pren is crying because their father is eating the last ice cream drumstick in the house. He seems unconcerned with their tears. <laughs> okay. Someone just asked, just joining the stream, is this a Stormgate or Zero Space cast? Well, this is actually, if Stormgate in Zero Space had a baby, it would be StarCraft 2. So StarCraft 2 is kind of a ripoff of those games when you think about it. It just took like some from both of them and made its own thing. Okay, I'm done my, my ice cream. We can talk now, sorry. <clears throat> Okay, anyways, this is game number two. Solar versus Apple Juice. We have Solar in the top left, Apple Juice in the bottom right. Apple Juice is a strong GM player from NA. Uh, plays every week. He's he's quite good. Obviously, he's not quite Solar level. So uh, we are looking at this as a pretty heavy Solar favorite. <clears throat> um, Yeah, yeah, I guess we, uh, we wait and see for a moment and see what... Uh, opener basically that apple juice wants to do because very likely it'll be solar trying to stop the opener like whatever the harassment or pressure is and then and then going into his own attack so some uh continued uh pro harassment there is going to back out as those zerglings are being made the queen as well overlord floating down i'm going to take a look at that cyber core hey, hey, Bowser se lo dando a peach. dude muy bien. what is what, all right we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and pause uh pause tng we'll play it afterwards um so yeah, anyways, uh, he, it was pretty clear to Solar there that is, this was going to be Stargate as the, uh, you know, the warp gate upgrade didn't start, so I'm sure he's going to be ready for that. That third hatch you're going up at the natural expansion. Apple Juice coming across the map now with an Adept. Eh, I mean, it's a single Adept. You're not, you're not even really pushing for damage here. It's probably better to just keep your Adept healthy. Back off for now. Oracle on the way. So he chronos that at all to try to get it across here for some damage. Honestly, the single Adept is not going to do anything. So we'll see if he brings up the secondary one. Oh, okay. Never mind. I said I wasn't going to do anything. It did get a creep tumor. That's reasonable. Going to take a bit of hull damage for that, but it will live. So that's good. Reasonable move there by Apple Juice. Can't can't really say anything negative about that. Oracle flying across the map. Getting ready right now for this additional base, but two adepts come down, ready to block. Ooh! Pretty good. Not bad. Not bad. Solid play from Apple Juice. Comes in with this Oracle. One. Two. Okay. Already reasonable. Yeah, double queen here. Gonna turn around. Hey, I have nothing wrong with anything Apple Juice has done in this game. You know? That's good. That Like, that's making me excited about it. Because, like, going into a game like this, you generally just are like, ah, uh, you know, Solar just crushes people. I mean, he should be able to take out Apple Juice. But, uh, like, Apple Juice is playing a very solid, very nice game. Uh, this circling surround is a little bit worrisome, but he's about to have an Oracle out. No, I guess he just warps in. The two stalkers. It's a little bit annoying that he had to turn it on for that. We have Twilight plus Forge on the way. Solar going with his own Evo. But so far, like Apple Juice, he's kept on reasonable pressure. He got a little bit of damage. I mean, it's not quite as much as you really want. Solar, like, when you make your first Oracle go across the map, 
like you're basically guaranteed two kills. Like you have enough health on it that you can fly and get two kills, turn around and go and you're fine. Uh, and you know, that's, that's what we consider to be basically perfect defense from Zerg. If someone doesn't get two kills, they're like way below the level of the Zerg player. Way, way, way below. So just generally that's what you're gonna see. Oh, that's kind of funny. So it looks like he wanted to maybe freeze the drone where it was going to make the hatchery, but the drone came out too quickly. So that fourth has been started. Plus one melee on the way. Apple juice trying to get into blink here. Like the solar gets rid of that, uh, that stasis ward nicely. And now apple juice coming up with the uh, triple Oracle. Only two of them have the energy to attack this. Hmm. Now we're getting a little bit of faulty decision making, unfortunately, right? Like that, you had to look at that and know that you weren't going to bust up. Like, where would the queens be? Are the queens on the way to your base? That's the only way that they aren't going to be able to save that hatchery. And in that case, you need the energy on your oracles to fight them. So probably just not a very good move to deal damage to the hatchery. Now, there is the possibility that that damage allows him to kill it <laughs> with an attack that he, he brings across the map. But... You're generally not lining up something like that to have a little bit of extra damage on it. That is a that is a very rare scenario. And if it happens like that, it's going to be basically luck-based. Now... Hmm... You know, he's got a fair amount of stalkers. Blink is almost done. The fact that he's going into this Colossus tech right now, I don't feel comfortable with that. I don't think that that's good. Like, I mean, I know we have plus one melee almost done, so like you're expecting a decent amount of lings, so maybe that's why you want the Colossi. But I feel like Solar is so on top of everything right now. It, it, it feels difficult to... Mm, to make Colossus work here. Like, I think there's just going to be Vipers ready, you know? Again, Apple Juice playing very, very well. And I think against, like, non-pros, he would be in a great position. But when you're playing one of the best Zergs in the world, this timing I don't think is going to quite work out for him. We'll see. We'll see. All right, the Triple Oracle's flying in, seeing what they can get done. A little bit of damage on the queen. Not really finding what he's looking for, though. Now, Solar is going up to a fifth base. And we're still three base. So this is this is turning into a very all-in moment here by Apple Juice. Uh Solar has a lot of the map. You can just see the optimizations of Solar here. They're they're just like a, a bit of a different level. Look at this. Two Vipers on the way. And that's what you need. A couple of ducks might end this. Uh, you know, Ultralist Cavern on the way. The Ultralist Cavern is a great choice as well. I cannot deny him that. The fact that he's getting Banelings, that's correct as well. Like, everything about how Solar's playing this is beautiful. I like the Stasis Wards. Maybe those, maybe those can really uh, make a difference here. Uh, walked the wrong way with those Colossus, unfortunately. Zalt's trying to come back to clean this up. I hope he can just micro this as best he can, because look at this. A big round of Ling Bane coming in. And you know what? The Stasis Ward does a very good job there. Oh, you can see how good Bane Lings can be against this comp. A pull forward on that Colossi. Yanks the other one away as well. Like, Apple Juice is taking a better engage than uh, actually what I thought he might. All right, the Stalkers right now kind of being surrounded a little bit. Feels like we might have a little bit too much here from Solar. 
Apple juice microing back, going up the ramp, trying to hold. Tightness plating on the way. Ultra's coming in as well. Obviously, Ultra's going to do pretty darn well against this as well. That splash damage against Stalker is going to be pretty deadly. You know, in smaller armies, you can definitely out-micro the Ultra and just pick them off. Like that. But if you get your whole mass together, uh, it's going to be really hard to pick those off at that point. Just like that. Have those extra links in there dealing damage. I think we're about to see GG. Nothing really left here for Apple Juice. GG and Solar moves on.